I'm here with Bob Kelly. Bob Kelly. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> Pleasure. That's a nice ring you have on there. Not bad. You want to try it on? I would love to. Yeah. Let's try this out. You've been looking at it earlier, wow. so. Flyers champ right here. Wow, it doesn't even fit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a lot younger and you're skinnier than me for crying out loud. Of course. Okay. Um, so two-time Stanley Cup champion. What's your role now with the Flyers? Uh, just basically uh, community relations, public relations, try to support all the other departments that are in there. Um, we have any, an old face or a body that uh, they ask if we can show up and do things, and there's nothing we, we really turn down. And the biggest thing is getting out in the community, being around kids, um, you know, making sure. I mean, they're our future, so you know, we like to make sure they have a happy time and teach them the different sports. Of course. Now, with um, you grew up in Ontario, Correct. and with your small town, um, you know, you grew up in a small town. How has your humble beginnings kind of transpired of what you do now? Well. I don't know if they're humble beginnings. It's just that you know that's just the way we were all kind of raised. Nobody was running away with millions of dollars, and you know you only get what you work for. And if you don't work, then you don't get it. So it's uh, you know there's, unless you do something bad to me, there's no reason not to be nice to you. So of course. you know it's a small town you like, and you help each other out, and you look out for the neighborhood and the people there, and you know I enjoyed myself. Of course, absolutely. Now you talk about uh, when I watched your event today when you're speaking to the students here at Stockton. You talked about how you know your time in hockey from the 70s has definitely changed from now in 2019. Uh, what aspects have changed, or what's kind of good and bad? What's happened with the game? Um, game's a lot faster. It's all about skill and speed. Um, the physicality is, it's still there, um, but not to the degree that we used to take it to. Uh, player is much more protected now with concussions and all that, where we didn't have helmets. The glass is all forgiving, so when you hit it, there's waves and wobbles. Before, it was just solid half-inch plate glass, and when your head hit that, you know. You said it was basically war, but you were watching yeah. back then. Yeah, it was. Now. It was. Well, let's say we didn't have a players' union, so I don't really know you, and I don't really care about you. You know, I'm out here to win a hockey game at, at all costs. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. That's the, hound, that's the hound talking right there. <laughs> well, it's just it's in, ingrained. Of course. Absolutely. Um, now, I guess what... Uh, kind of going off of this event today. If you can kind of take one thing that you can kind of give advice to students who are looking to go into PR, any kind of, you know, whatever dream it may be, their American dream, what can you do as, or what can you say as advice to them? Well, I think uh, I try and tell them that, you know, because of the way technology is today, that this, we, we endear ourselves in, in the, you know, whether it's an iPad, a phone, or whatever, this is what we do all the time. And, you know, people are, are losing that face-to-face -face contact. Like, you know, if you're, I'm going to hire you, I want to see, I want to see how you act, how you handle yourself. And, you know, you, you need to greet people, especially in PRCR. You need to go up and introduce yourself, meet people. That's how you make contacts. And you never know who you're talking to. That's the greatest thing about this world is you don't know who you're talking to. And we get, we get guys who are high-level uh, corps, and uh, they come down there. They're kind of dressed a little bit sluggish, but they're in the, the best suite that's going, and they're here. But that's their wind-down time. That's their time. And I said, you have no idea who you're talking to it there, so just treat everybody equal, and then you don't have to backpedal. Sometimes I guess you can think that sometimes PR is actually uh, progressed in the way where digital uh, social media and everything actually makes the job easier sometimes. But the way you're talking about, too, you say how that can actually kind of affect somebody because they kind of lose that person-to-person -person interaction ability. Yeah, and we're, we're grassroots. I mean, people know us, which is it was a good step. I mean, we got some guys that will walk in like, I won't say their names, but like people wouldn't really know them. But obviously, Bernie and Clarky and Billy Barber and those guys. I mean, they get the light. But you know, we were here. We spent a decade. All of us played eight to ten years together here. So I mean, I sat beside Clarky for ten years and tormented him. So it was awesome. So you know, you get used to playing pranks, and you, you you're, it's really a bonding effect. Um, you know, we don't fly charter charters all the way around like the guys are today. We always had to fly out commercial, and then fly back on a charter. But so you know, your bonding time and everything. I mean. You spend a lot of time. That's your teammate there. You're going to spend time there. Thank you. Bob Kelly, the Hound, right here at SSTV. Thank you for coming on. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Keep up the good work.